Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing two room setups inspired by two of the most recent Girl of the Years, Joss Kendrick and Kira Bailey. So if you already know my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to so be notified every time I upload a new video. I love decorating rooms, so today I'm going to be showing the entire process of the room setup and I'm going to be using miniature items as it's easier to style the room itself. And both of these rooms are themed to the character's storyline, so Kira's room is inspired by Australia while Joss's room is themed to cheering and surfing. So let's go ahead and style the bed section of the room first. So here we have Kira's room. I love how the gold matches the theming of the room and we have nature themed wallpaper. Her bedding is pink and purple and we also have a koala cushion at the front along with a kangaroo plush as well. And over by the front of the bed, I'm just going to be adding a small magazine and that's about Australian animals. And here we have Joss's room, so let's go ahead and style the bed section first. The theming of the room is very different from Kira's. We have marble themed wallpaper, there's blue carpet, and then as for the bed itself, it's blue to match the ocean theme of the room. And I've just placed down a few pillows which match the bedding, and then we also have some cushions as well. There's a floral one at the front and one that's themed to a dock. And I'm just placing down some PJs now. They are very bright and colorful compared to the bedding and pillows. And right next to the bed, we're just going to be placing down the slippers right next to the PJs, and they can sit over by the side here. And right next to the slippers, we're going to be placing down a rug, and it matches some of the cushions that are already featured on the bed. Kira's room does feature quite a few different posters. So this one says Wildflowers of Australia, and then there's also a koala theme sign as well. So I'm just adding in a K for Kira, and then there's this gorgeous gold lantern that's a part of her collection, and we also also have this kangaroo figurine that can stand towards the other side. There's a total of two shelving units a part of this display shelf, so I'm going to be adding in quite a few different Australian themed figurines. So we have two koala figurines, one for the top shelf and one for the bottom shelf, and they're styled slightly differently. So along with animal figurines and items from Australia, I'll just be adding in some classic room items as well. So we have this box with different quotes in it, and then in the middle I have a tissue box here, and I love the flower design at the front. And all I'm doing is adding in the dry shampoo on the other side. The bottom shelf will feature more Australian items, so first off we have this figurine of an emu and that's an Australian animal and that can just sit towards the side. And then the other item is one of my favorite items a part of the room setup. I found it at a gift store, it says I love Australia and it's 3D so each picture has a different Australian animal or item to make it look like a whole photo. And right next to Joss's bed we have a small silver side table here and I'm just placing down a few accessory items you would normally see in a classic room setup. So first off we have a key and then this item here is a journal and it features a palm tree design on the front cover. And the next item we have here is a phone. It has a blue phone case on it and it's just featuring the home screen right now. And this item here is an athletic card to a cheer gym. So over towards the back there is some space so I'm going to be placing a Lamp. It has a lovely floral design around it and it's a bright yellow color And then we also have a casual pair of sunglasses and right next to the side table We do also have this cabinet here so we can place down a few clothing items and accessories that are themed to surfing or cheering So over by this bottom compartment here. We have a cheerleading outfit There's a pair of leggings a top and then also a sports top that says cheer on the front and the outfit We're going to be placing right above that is a casual outfit Which is perfect for a beach day so there is a pair of pants and then also a matching tank top it has a beach design on the front and as for the compartments over by the side they are quite small so we're going to be adding in some shoes and they're both casual pairs of sandals and both of these shoes are perfect for a casual day out and they'll be styled with that casual outfit perfectly so let's go ahead and style another section of Kira's room and over towards the side of the bed I'll just be placing down some koala themed slippers and then we also have a backpack with a koala keychain too and you can definitely see the signs featured in the room a lot clearer here. So there's a kangaroo sign and a koala sign, and then there's a smaller sign that says good day at the bottom. So all I've done is added in a kangaroo themed pillow, and here we have a plant themed to a koala. This accessory item is the perfect addition to Joss's room, so there's some blue and pink on it, and it features a sailboat at the front along with some seashells too. So we're just going to be adding in some beach themed items and swimsuits as well. And once we've added the wetsuit top and the swimsuit as well, we'll go ahead and display this container in the corner of the room. What I really like about this container is that you can have it as a main feature item part of the room as it matches the theming. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the lid up so it's standing up like so and we're just going to add a sailboat design over by the 
side. And right next to this display cabinet, we're going to be adding in a chair. It has a floral design on it and it's blue to match the bedding. And we also have an accessory item here that matches the chair, so it's just going to be placed in front of it. It also has a lid so you can store away smaller accessory items. And over by the seating area right next to the bed, there's a section to display some accessories. So we have a koala themed plush, there's some sunglasses and binoculars, and the binoculars match the theme of the room perfectly. And over by this section of Joss's room, we have a surfboard displayed here, and there's also a skateboard featured in the storyline, so we're going to be adding a skateboard right next to the surfboard. And we'll just be placing a pet bed over by the side as well. And over on the other side of the room, there's a desk set up, so we're just going to be adding in some miniature items. So there's a total of three different styles of plants, and I love these because they suit the desk. And then we also have some Australian animals as well. So the animal that I just placed down was an echidna, and that's just going on one side of the desk, and then over towards the other side of the desk, we have this koala figurine from the same collection. The plants are so adorable though, and I love how they're all styled so differently, and how the pot plants are completely plain, so they suit the theming of the room. And right underneath that, there's two shelving units that are empty to display different items. So first off, we have some photos, and they're themed to Polaroid photos. There's a total of four, and it features different Australian wildlife and nature as well. And then we also have a camera as well. I'd say the camera is a really bright purple color compared to the rest of the room, but I'm going to go ahead and add it in next to the photos. And over on the second shelf, we have a koala themed figurine and a kangaroo one too. And here we have the main part of the desk itself. One of my favorite items, a part of her room setup, would have to be these clip photo accessories. And I decided to add it to the back of the desk and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It suits her room perfectly. And as for the accessories in front of that, we have a walkie talkie. There's also an insect repellent. And up next, we have a pencil box here and that can go right in the middle. And then here we have some sort of drink. It's pink, so it could be cordial or lemonade. This globe will be the perfect addition to the desk setup. And I have Australia facing the front since this is an Australian themed room. Another item we have here is a document holder featuring different documents and items and it's in a pastel blue holder. I'm going to add that towards the side of the desk and then up next we have some postcards and they're themed to Australia as well. One features different landmarks and photos and the other one just features Australia overall. And the next item we have here is a plate which features some fruit and then finally there's a book about travel. Up next I need to add a chair or a seat next to the desk but rather than a classic chair I'm going to add this one from Kira's collection and then we also have her hat that I'll just be placing towards the side. Instead of a desk, Joss's room is going to feature a vanity as that ties along with the cheer theme of the room. So there's two compartments in the vanity to store away some smaller accessories and items so we have some bobby pins, hair ties, and a headband as well. And as for the other compartment we have a few different accessories that are themed to hair straighteners and hair curlers so you're able to get ready for a cheer competition. And once we've added those accessory items to those compartments, we can go ahead and style the rest of the vanity. So over by the vanity section, we have a cheer bow. It's a dark blue color and has a glitter finish. And this item here is a cheer theme makeup palette. And right in the middle there, we'll just be placing down a comb. And here we have a hearing aid with a hearing aid case. And that can go towards the middle of the vanity. And over by the other side, we have some sunscreen. And that ties along with the surfing storyline. A vanity setup would not be complete without some sort of chair. We're just going to be adding this one towards the middle here and then we also have a cheer backpack that can sit over by the other side. Let's go ahead and style some of the outfits and shoes that are going to be featured in Kira's room. Rather than using a wardrobe, I'm going to be using this hotel trolley to display different outfits and shoes. We have a total of two pairs of sandals we're going to be placing down. Rather than displaying each clothing item separate, I decided to show them as completed outfits so you're able to see what they look like and I'm so happy with how this turned out. My favorite outfit in our collection would definitely have to be the PJs itself. I love these so much. The koala design on the pants are so adorable and the teal is so pretty and definitely matches the pastel theme of her collection. This outfit is really adorable as well. I love the skirt and the theme of the Australian t-shirt too. And then we also have this classic jacket that's a part of one of her accessory sets. And as for Joss's room, we're just going to be displaying this cheer competition outfit with a matching cheer bow right next to the vanity and also some cheer shoes we placed right next to it too. So now let's go ahead and style the next section of the room. So first off, we have this small container here to store away smaller accessory items and we have some wax for the surfboard and there's a total of two. They are styled quite differently, but both of them should be able to fit in the storage container. And in order to display some more accessories and items, we're going to be having this locker set up over by the side here. So first off, we have this beach themed container to store away different accessories and items. And then as for this first compartment here, we are just going to be placing some items that are themed to skating. So we also have some wheels over here and elbow pads, and then a GoPro can sit over by the front. And the GoPro will be a great addition to both the skateboard and the surfboard too. 
And over by this middle compartment, we're just going to be placing down a beach towel. And as for the bottom compartment, we have a pair of cheer slides. So let's go ahead and style a table that will be featured in Kira's room. And let's go ahead and set up the last part of the room. So this table here will feature different Australian foods. So first off, we have some Vegemite. Vegemite is really delicious if you don't add too much of it onto bread or toast. You do have to add a lot of butter though. Fairy bread is really delicious and I'm so excited that they added it to Kira's collection. It's fresh white bread and then you add hundreds and thousands, which are sprinkles. Pavlova is a really well-known dessert in Australia and New Zealand. And then I'm going to be adding in a photo here of a koala. And the final item, probably one of the most popular snacks from Australia, would definitely have to be Tim Tams. And as you can see, both Kira's and Joss's rooms are styled quite differently. Kira's room has a nature themed and it's themed to Australia and it features quite a few different animal figurines as well. And as for Joss's room, it does feature a lot of blue and it has a lot of cheering and surfing items and accessories as well. So now I'm going to show you both room setups without comparing the two rooms so you're able to see the entire room set up overall.
day feels like Sunday morning. So got my day job, but I feel so free. Baby, I go anywhere as long as you'll be there. It's just you. Day feels like Sunday morning. 